there's iron and sulfur. And in this universe, things that are at a higher energy uh, can, like, they can release energy and go to the lower energy. It's just like dropping a ball. But these iron and sulfur compounds are like in a stable high energy state. So think of a ball that's like up here, but in a well, so that's never gonna get out of there unless you like bump it out. Like you gotta shake it up. Iron, its energy level is up here and it's not going anywhere, right? Even if there's quite a bit of heat, it's not going anywhere. There's no way to get the iron out. And though there's like a lot of heat, and then the iron goes flying out and it's not in there anymore and it falls down. And that can absolutely happen without biology, but you need heat. And heat is the thing that's shaking the cup. It's getting the iron out and then to a lower energy state. And what has happened inside of these spots is that the sulfur and the iron seem to have spontaneously jumped out of the cup. So you have to ask, how did they get out of the cup? How did they get out of their very stable but higher energy configuration to a second stable lower energy spot? They check and they look and everything else about this environment says this was not a hot place. The chemicals also didn't like form somewhere else and then get deposited there. These chemicals formed where they are. I mean, you can tell that just by looking at it. They're not mixed in. It's like something happened and it spread out. Now the thing is, when the iron falls out, that creates energy. 